Found in the swamps and rhine forests of Indonesian islands, babirusas have barrel-shaped bodies balanced on delicate, deer-like legs. The most well-known species of babirusa is distinguished by its naked body and massive, curving tusks. In this video I will share with you 7 Amazing Fun Facts About Babirusa Pig before we begin we published new videos daily. So be sure to subscribe this channel for the great content. Without daily let's start. Babirusas are native to the Indonesian islands of Sulawesi, Togian, Sula, and Buru. Humans first colonized Sulawesi approximately 30,000 years ago and soon began hunting and eating babirusas. It's thought that humans introduced babirusas to Sulu and Buru. There are four species of babirusa. The most well known, Babirousa celebensis. Babirusas are very unique pigs. Babirusas are wild members of the pig family, Suidae, but they differ from other pigs in several ways. Their snouts are not as specialized as those of other pigs. Babirusas also have complex, two-chambered stomachs, which are more reminiscent of the digestive systems of sheep and other ruminants than those of their fellow pigs. Babirusa means pig deer. In the Malay language, it's thought that the Sulawesi people gave the Babirusa this moniker because their large canines remind them of antlers, but the name could also reflect how the Babirusa combines slender, deer-like legs and a multi-chambered stomach with its other, more pig-like traits. Babirusas eat almost everything. They're omnivorous, with a diet that includes leaves, fruits, berries, nuts, mushrooms, bark, insects, fish, and small mammals, even smaller babirusas. Babirusas use their hooves to dig for roots and insect larvae in the ground and are also able to support themselves on their two back feet to stand up and feed on higher leaves. Baby Babirusas are fast developers. While most piglets are striped at birth, camouflage to evade predators, and dependent on their mothers for a long time, Babirusa young lack stripes and develop quickly. They typically wander from the nest and begin sampling solid foods by 10 days old. In the wild, Babirusas might live 10 years. But several Babirusas in zoos have made it past 20 years old. They engage in an unusual plowing behavior. Given soft sand, captive Babirusas, primarily males, will kneel down and push their heads forward through the sand, creating a deep furrow. As they plow, they snort, growl, and produce foamy saliva. Males plow most vigorously when they are in the enclosure of another male. The North Sulawesi Babirusa is most famous for its amazing tusks, which only the males possess. But what are those tusks for? It's actually a mystery. One hypothesis is that the males use their tusks during fights over females. It seems reasonable, until you look at how babirusas really fight. They don't hook tusks, but stand up on their hind legs and box each other with their front hooves. Please hit like and subscribe our channel for more amazing content in the future.